going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Code. You find jewelry, sure, personal jewelry. I just received the largest batch of three millimeter diamond cut Frankos in Jacoji history. I don't buy these chains to show them, I buy them to sell them. So in this video, I want to break down why the three millimeter Franco is one of the most popular chains in the world. With that being said, Let's get started. And when you're going with the Franco, no matter what the width is, it's truly the safe bet, top quality, durability, and that subtle look, which is what I got going on right here. Three millimeter, 22 inch diamond cut Franco. That is the length of choice for most people, most popular size. And a lot of people get caught up of what width they should go with. And truly, it depends on your body type, height, weight, neck size. A lot of people email me, I'm 5'11", 200 pounds, I bench 300 pounds, all the specs that they could think of to try to get this look. Just know this look works for a lot of people, but you have to keep in mind when going with a Franco, this is the look you're going for. It's not gonna be Mr. T. I got the three millimeter 22 inch on, and let me show you what the five millimeter 22 inch looks like. It is definitely thicker, but still on that subtle side. You're never gonna get a Franco chain that's gonna be huge because they weigh so much. People like to keep them subtle. That's just the look that they give off. And I wanna show you guys on the neck, I have a two and a half millimeter 24 inch Franco and a three millimeter 26 inch Franco. You can see visually there is a bigger difference and again depends on your preference and what look you're going for. If you're a smaller guy, then the two and a half millimeter might work, but generally I recommend three millimeter plus. For that nice solitaire, you're gonna see your chain, it stands out, you feel it around the neck. Also, if you're a bigger guy like me, maybe you're deciding between the three millimeter Franco and a three and a half millimeter. I got the three millimeter 22 inch on and the three and a half 24 inch and again, just look at that slight thickness between the three and three and a half millimeters. Keep in mind, it is tough, especially if you haven't handled chains before or see them, to really get a visual on this video or picture. It's something you have to see and put on in person to truly understand what a three millimeter is. So I do my best with these B-rolls to show you, but again, every half millimeter or millimeter you go up makes a huge difference. Now let's talk length. I got the three millimeter diamond cut Franco's. I have an 18 inch, 20, 22, 24, 26 28 inch my neck size is around 16 inches for your guys' reference I don't know if that helps I don't even know if seeing all the lengths help to me it's a little bit confusing but you can screenshot it and see my recommendation honestly people ask me for the average person and you guys are the average person we're all special but you guys get it it's 20 through 24 inch, 22 inch just being dominant. I'm telling you guys, I double my orders for 22 inches compared to anything else. 20 inches has actually catching up to 22 inches. Lately, I think that's just the increased price of gold and cost for these chains, but Look at this look right here. Who's gonna complain? A lot of people stress themselves out. If you're going for an everyday solitaire chain, this look right here is it. This is good. It, the, uh, why I like it compared to a 20 inch, I've mentioned this a thousand times and I'll mention it a thousand more times, is it doesn't get tucked in as easy because with less length, there's more weight in the back. It'll tuck in and you're always fighting to keep it untucked unless you want that. But if you want this look, the little extra length keeps it more bottom heavy so it just hangs like this, and you're gonna enjoy your Jacoji gold chain. And when I started way, way, way back ago, I used to just use Franco's to pair with pendants, the one millimeters through two millimeters, and then eventually I started buying the thicker ones and fell in love with them. Most jewelers use Franco's as just the chain to pair with pendants. They buy the hollow ones, the cheap ones. I'm the one that values this look right here. So when we're talking about size pendants, the standard line I have on the three millimeter Franco, as you guys can see 22 inches because of the weight of that pen it hangs it down a little bit more it gives you more of a 24 inch length look um, to me, this is very subtle. If you like a subtle pendant on the smaller size though, I know a lot of you guys like kind of the oversized pendants. So I paired the large size line. And again, my pendants aren't really that big to begin with because they are solid, not cage back hollow. You guys get the point. So we have the large size line. And me personally, if I was gonna rock a pendant, I would go with the large size uh, just because it stands out a little bit more. I like the pendant to be a little bit 
bigger, more presence than the chain itself. I don't like the chain to be bigger than my pendant. So um, if I was going three millimeter Franco, if I bought this, got bored, wanted to add a pendant, I would go more towards the large size pendants. Last but not least, I really feel like I've done a great job with this video, diamond cut versus plain. And if I remember correctly, I've done about three or four different videos about this. It's really preference. I sell far more diamond cut Francos. If I was buying and shopping Jacoji, I definitely would go with a diamond cut. I like diamond cut the most. I just think with Franco's diamond cut is awesome, but I've grown to like the plain a lot more because how smooth it is, it's definitely a little easier to wear, although there's nothing wrong with this. Again, when you're going with a Franco, you are going with the mindset of having the highest quality chain, a very durable chain, and a chain that is extremely easy to wear. You don't wanna worry about it. You don't wanna worry about it breaking, kinking, doing anything. You wanna just wear it and enjoy it. So plain versus diamond cut, they're about the same size. Um, they're the same chains, one just a little bit more round and has the facets to give that shine off, which is nice. I like it, trust me. The diamond cut really does a lot, especially in the sunlight. But if you're just a plain Jane guy or girl, then go with the plain version because it is just an easy wear, a safe bet, which the Francos are. So that all that information should help you understand as to why this chain is great because it just gives you a good everyday gold chain look. Shop to Koji. That's it for today's video and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.